One other thing, we have many widows in our ministry. And uh, each year, I don't know if Sabaida is here or not. She's, here. she's not here today. Once a year, she takes all the widows. She's a widow herself, and she loads them up, and they go out to eat and have their little time together. And we have several that have become widows this year, Sister Mary Watson and Sister Gertrude. And we want to wait until Sister Gertrude gets back and gets a little settled. And we want to make sure that our widows continue that tradition of getting together. And I want you to be mindful of that process that our widows are going through. Uh, it's fresh on some of them, on some of them, but like I said again, even if you've been a widow for, for a while, it's still you, you have the same burden that every widow has. So that's one of our responsibilities as a church. So I just want to put that on the prayer intercession. Uh, I want y'all to have that for the rest of the year, our widows. We need you to have them forefront on our prayer or have them on the, the front line because they're really going through something. We talked to Sister Gert, and right now she's in that initial stage, and it's just not nice, is it? I hope y'all are uh, praying for her. Don't stop praying. Somebody said, don't stop praying. Don't stop, don't stop praying. Prayer, I wrote this down just for my benefit. Prayer will reveal God to you. Prayer will help you clean up your life. Prayer will keep you walking with Jesus. Prayer will keep your tongue clean and under control. Prayer will help you understand God's word. Prayer, the prayer has the power to bring the Holy Spirit into your life. And prayer has the power to bring salvation, not only to ourselves, but to others. So prayer is a key component. Because if they say if there's, if there's no prayer, there's what? No power. So we, we want to... All right, put your hands together one more time.